Good morning. It's Thursday, September 29th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Glorious Needle in the Unfathomable Haystack. In our scripture, Psalm chapter 8. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them, human beings that you should care for them, Yet you made them only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You gave them charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority, the flocks and the herds and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. The psalmist, in a big stage whisper, wonders aloud about how God could possibly be concerned about us humans. Calvin, the precocious, some would say obnoxious kid, proclaims he's significant, just before allowing he's quite small compared to the universe. Calvin and Hobbes is one of my many favorite cartoon strips. That may be due to the author's theological bent, which always catches my eye, and most often my admiration. I admire, and often envy, the way the creator of this tune can present a complex biblical theme on the meaning of life with just four panels and a precocious, self-absorbed six-year-old. That may be because the creator, Bill Watterson, modeled the main characters, the boy Calvin and his stuffed tiger Hobbes, after a preacher and a moral wondering cynic. You gotta love it. In the first and third panel, Calvin looks into the skies east then west as if he's searching the whole of the heavens. In the second panel, he announces with certainty his significant place, as only a six-year-old can proclaim from his sandbox. In the fourth and final panel, Calvin concludes and allows that he might be just a piece, a speck of dust in the big pile of the puzzle, and not the magnificent centerpiece his first statement demanded. This is the ongoing human struggle for identity and perspective on the significance and purpose of life. I suppose if I had Bill Watterson's ability to get to the nub in so short a presentation, I mean it only takes eight seconds to read, I guess my sermons would be a lot shorter and my congregation would always beat the Baptist brethren to the local restaurants on Sundays. For you today... There will never be a test to pass on Sunday's sermon. So here's a delicious short thought to ponder. When the sermon is spoken this Sunday, whether you take notes or not, take note of just one salient provoking life issue your pastor presents and contemplate, think deeply and measure it against your life. Take it home and see what God says to you in prayer that day or the rest of the week and then find some way to put into action whatever God brings into your life that next week. You may not have a stuffed tiger that will talk back to you like Calvin's Hobbes, but the Holy Spirit will lead those who seriously seek the Lord. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.